Hey everyone, can you feel the excitement? We are nearly at the finish line. We have covered most of the main tools and features, and now it's time to dive into the last few goodies. In this episode, we're going to explore libraries, and I will show you how to add the missing elements to our half-finished web page design using the library section. Ready? Just tap on this library tab, and bam! You will see all five sections of the libraries just waiting to be explored. First one on the list is Unsplash. We covered this in our previous episode, so check it out if you haven't yet. Next up, we have icons and SF symbols. Wondering what the difference is? SF symbols are nifty icons crafted by Apple, while traditional icons can be, well, anything used symbolically. Let's play around with both and find the best match. Alright, I've located the icons I was searching for, but I would like to make some minor adjustments to the scissors icon. The great thing is that these icons can be customized. Simply grab the node tool and tweak it according to your preferences. And with that, we are all set with the icons. But we are not done yet. Let's not forget about the photos tab where you can import your own pictures. And lastly, the templates tab. If you select everything on your canvas and hit this plus button, you can save your design as a template. How cool is that? Everything you've saved as a template is right here in this tab, ready to be used with a single tab. Lastly, you guessed it right. Let's see our design on a web page. And that's a wrap for this episode. I hope you had as much fun exploring these tools as I have showing them to you. Can't wait to see you in episode 9 where we'll dive into export and share options. Until then, take care and happy designing.